But Stokely, Shannon, we've been yes. waiting on him all morning. He's back. <laughs> his sophomore album is titled Sankofa. It's a follow-up to his first solo album, Introducing Stokely. He gained fame as a member of Mint Condition and described his new work as familiar yet rich with lots of layers. It's sonic art. Now, that sounds beautiful right there. That's mm -hmm. some poetry. <laughs> want to welcome Stokely to start your day. Uh, we sure love having you. We appreciate you getting up early with us. Um, Let's talk about the title of your new album first, Sankofa. It's tied to Africa, yes, and it does mean um, go back and get it. Why did you pick this name for your album, Go Back and Get It? It was a very rich title. Hello, good morning, by the way. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Ghanaian term, and I grew up playing uh, African percussion, you know, African instruments, and uh, I figured I wanted something that really explained, uh, you know, kind of my mm -hmm. journey, you know, and that just also not means not only just going back to get it, just remember where I came from, what I came through and all the different genres that I love. Like I have stuff that sounds like the 80s, the 70s, uh, the 90s, yeah. you know, with Snoop Dogg Vibrant and did something like that, um, something with, um, uh, called Cascade uh, featuring the Bonfire, which is more like an 80s tune. Uh, but there's, you know, reflections of my early beginnings with percussion and African instrumentation uh, and that kind of thing like this. So I just wanted to make it a really rich, deep experience, you know, um, and it's just a really, really powerful. I think there's some really good things in there. So mm -hmm. that was the reason why I titled it you know, Sankofa, which I love. Mm -hmm. the, it just sounds musical in itself, the, the title of it. Yeah, yeah definitely it does. And, and yeah. talking about Sankofa and Ghana, you visited Ghana for this project. So did you draw some of the things yeah. off the culture? Or did you incorporate that into the music? I know you talked about some of the sounds and the drums and different things, but how did you incorporate that into your music and to the lyrics maybe during this trip? And also, what did you learn during that trip? Well, I went actually after this project was finished, and it's just one of these things where it was just divine. It, things just fell into place the way they were they were, they were supposed to. Um, I, I was already guided in that direction, you know. Like I said, all the instrumentation, everything that how I grew up was already set in place. So I think uh, finally getting there because I'd never been there uh, was just a dream come true. And then just seeing the children, seeing the culture, seeing the people, seeing all the history, and making those connections from you know. Uh, from Africa to America, back to America for me, you know, was really uh, amazing. Just you know, a lot of the uh, history that has been told to me. Uh, but also, I mean, the thing is, it's one thing to hear about it and read about it, but to experience it yourself is just amazing. I, in, you know, invite anybody, you know, urge anyone to go uh, back there mm -hmm. just to see. It's just so many amazing stories and, you know, the culture, the music, the dance, the food, everything, yeah. just, you know, the artistry. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the sound of Africa, right? Mm -hmm. And I really feel like you take us there and your appreciation for it. Yeah. It's artists including Snoop, um, Wale, her. Give us a glimpse at, at what it was, because it's a very diverse group there. Uh, what was it like yeah. working with them? Oh, it's always amazing working with different artists. They bring different things out of you, different textures. You know, I always say that a lot of times I've, you know, I've been doing music for a long time. Now. I don't, I, I get tired of hearing myself sometimes. So I want to invite other textures, Aww. other people, other layers in. And uh, it's always yeah. amazing, you know, to have, you know, whether it's somebody singing, you know, male, female, rappers, singers, uh, to add that extra layer, just that extra thing that brings things out of, out of me. And I hope that the listeners, uh, and the fans and the uh, the new coming uh, fans uh, will enjoy it as well as, as much as I did uh, making it. Yeah. Mm. Well, we've got to talk about your single on this album. The lead single is called She, and it became your first career number one yeah. in record 28 weeks. That's impressive. Ooh. So yeah. how did you come up with the visual yeah, concept, and did you get any feedback, especially from your old... Really, um, uh, shout out to uh, Jam and Lewis as well for helping me out with, um, you know, this whole project. It's been amazing. You know, Al Madison, my, my partner, uh, business manager, you know, uh, uh, partner in business and whatnot. And we, uh, yeah, we've just been having a great time with it. So we're just really elevating this whole project and enjoying the journey, you know. And, and thanks for having me on here to, uh, you know, yeah. let everybody know what's coming up, what's coming through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And I'll tell you something, Stokely, whatever the, the regimen you were on to get ready for the video, I think you did okay. I think you did okay. Um, you said, <laughs> though, you. you did just nice. It was just nice. Just, uh, I'm a single mom just letting you know it was nice. Um, you said, <laughs> though, that you want people to discover something every time they listen to it. Yeah. Friends, family, yeah. other people you, you're close to, they've enjoyed it, certainly. What have they shared with you? What are their takeaways? Uh, it's just, I look at, you know, just when you look at a, a visual art piece, you know, I look at it as like, you know, you mm -hmm. might look at it from a different angle. Like, oh, I never seen that shape or I never. So this is uh, sonic art yeah. to me. So when you put on a pair of headphones or you listen or you're cleaning up, oh man, I never heard that little bell on the side or, you know, to mm -hmm. just rediscover. I mean, that's how you should listen to music, you know, that artistry. I think a lot of times people these days just kind of hear music. Listening is more of like, it's, it's more, uh, you're engaged in what you're hearing so i think that's that's what i want i want them to discover and rediscover every time and that's what the that's why uh music is there i mean to really appreciate it in ways that um people i think people have gotten away from mm. you know it's, it may be disposable for people it's just very quick microwave you know i guess some people call it microwave yeah. culture it's like you can't really pay attention for that long so <laughs> right. i yeah. grew up with listening to you know oh. actually sitting down and listening to songs and like, like envisioning what the staging was like, you know, mm -hmm. so I want to kind of get back to that thing. And that's what I was inspired by. And that's what this whole project, uh, you know, when you listen from beginning to end, if you can, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people just go to oh, song one, or yeah. song three. That's my you jam. Know? Go to that it's one. just kind of is a threat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. And that's fine. That's that's fine. However you discover me, you know, yes, that's fine. That's great. But well, I just want them to have a little bit more depth and breath to it. You know? Well, Stoker, before yeah. you go, we got to ask you, uh, can we see uh, Mint Condition doing a reunion tour? We see y'all coming back. We know you're still singing out there. What do you think? That could be possible. We're all, we are all are, uh, you know, doing these different things. Of course, I'm doing this and, you know, hopefully we'll come back and compare some notes is what I always say. You know, it's been, a, you know, we Men condition has been a long journey, you know, and a great, beautiful, dynamic one. And I yeah. wouldn't be standing here without it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so hopefully at Aww. some point we'll come back and compare some notes. And, you know, right now I'm right here doing it. what I'm doing and, you know, enjoying this this journey. And, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying that. You all are enjoying it. So, again, thank you for having me and <laughs> yeah. this opportunity. Special. Yeah. Well, we know Sharon enjoyed yes. that music video, yeah. so thank you for that for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a, a repeat right here. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Very right. nice. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Th thank you so it's much, brother. On. Continue thank the you. great work. A reminder for everybody thank out you. there, Stokely's sophomore album is Sankofa. Make sure you check it out. And thank you so much again, hey. Stokely. All right.